Sergio Martinez is not your garden variety boxer. Well, what I really think when I train is that you have to have a daily motivation. That's the important thing for a boxer, is to keep yourself motivated every day. That's something that's very difficult, but luckily I can achieve it almost without problems. I always try to hold on to the idea of somebody that I love. For example, my family, my mother, my brothers, and my parents. And in my mind, I dedicate my practices and my victories to them. That helps me very much, makes me feel strong and protected. An Argentine native who began his athletic career as a cyclist and semi-pro soccer player, Martinez now finds himself at the top of the boxing world as the middleweight champion. I began boxing when I was 20, when I lived in Argentina. And it was a very nice time in my life because the beginnings were very rough. I went from playing soccer one day to boxing the next. And in less than one month of training as a boxer, I had my first fight. It was a beautiful experience, and I decided not to leave boxing. I love it. The global product fighter with the movie star looks has fought mostly outside the United States, but feels he must succeed here in America to be considered one of the greats. To box and to win in the U.S. makes you go down in history forever. And that is what I was always looking for in boxing, to go down in history, be one of the best. Chasing the American dream, Martinez now fights and trains in the States. With his trainer Gabby Sarmiento at his side, Martinez refines his great athletic ability at his carefully chosen base of Oxnard, California, to push toward his ultimate goals. My trainer chose Oxnard because, for my body, we needed a place that wasn't too hot or too cold because I'm already at an age in which injuries affect me more and that is primarily why for taking care of my body well the truth is that these are workouts that we were already working on in Europe the mountain training we always carry it out to the letter and we always try to work on altitude training also on change of rhythm, descents and climbs, this gives you more oxygen capacity, more lung capacity, as if you did altitude training. In the aspect that he... What you work on, you continue to improve. Because he gives his heart and soul in every exercise, in every workout, in every technique. We have all the facilities, we have an entire camp, prepared for working out at the highest level here in the United States. Martinez was put to the test on the December 9th in 2009 by Paul Williams, fighter now generally ranked number three pound for pound in the world. Big right hand to finish the round for Martinez. The 12 round battle was decided for Williams by a controversial decision. It was a very intense fight. It was a complete fight. I have the entire fight in my head. But I know this fight will be different. I can't look at the previous one. I've matured physically and mentally during this whole year. Since that loss, Martinez has polished his star by claiming the middleweight championship from Kelly Pavlin. When Martinez steps into the ring for the highly anticipated rematch with Williams, he knows he can further cement his image of greatness. No, I didn't dream of this life that I'm leading today, which is spectacular. It's incredible. I believe I'm in the best moment of my personal life, in the best moment of my professional life. I think I'm exploding now.